Uh, now, before you, you leave, let me ask you, am I just your Sifu for seven weeks? Or am I your Sifu for a lifetime? Uh, I, of course, of course, Sifu. Yes, I'm devoted, you know, like. <laughs> oh, no. And he's like, oh, you Sifu know. Dad, no! <laughs> Everybody was under this impression that we were destined for greatness. You asshole. <laughs> Not one fucking sale made. We're all just kids. Th we're, we're, we're throwing off the graduation hats. And he just says, all right, bitches, you want more lessons? You want? You really want a job? <laughs> Open that fucking wallet. Give me that $2,000. You already gave me a, gave me two uh, 3000 Give me more, fucking idiots. Keep it. In Wait, why? He said that kiss money? Yeah, kiss it. Touch it. No, he's like, he's like, love money, y'all. <laughs> Shame on me. I, I had fights with my family members. They were telling me, dude, this sounds like some cult shit. And I'm really? like, really? No, no. You see, that's your lower mindset saying that. He said, I want you to imagine that you're standing on the edge of the cliff. Sifu appears over your shoulder and he says, I want you to jump. How many of you would jump? They're waving their credit cards. Like they don't even know what the fuck they're buying. People I know that are in debt people that I know who are starving, who haven't found jobs, and they're running to that table. One of these guys I knew that was struggling, he handed his credit card over to Dan Locke's lackeys, and he said, I'm praying that this goes through. And it didn't, it got declined. And he just melted on the floor, he was crying. And then another guy was like, I got declined too. He's like, man, if I could sell my soul right now, I would. Is Dan Locke a cult, yes or no? Is High Ticket Closer a cult, yes or no? Yes. I saw like some of your other Dan Locke videos. And I was like, man, he's just scratching the surface. Like, if this dude only knew. Are we, gonna, are we gonna are we gonna open it up today, dude? Are we gonna do it? Let's yeah, let's go. This, yeah, let's let's, let's bust uh, open the lid because I mean it's Christmas time. I don't give two fucks. I got my coffee right here. Hell yeah, dude! Going let's, going from Dan Lock to Coffeezilla, dude. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> good times, man. Oh man, dude. <laughs> hey, hey guys. Look at this. Look at this hero here. Whistle blowing for you guys who are thinking of joining Closers in Black. High ticket closer. Don't buy before you watch the video. Uh, welcome sure. to CoffeeZilla. Welcome to Fake Guru. I am your Sifu, your, the, the real Sifu here in the house. Uh, and today we've got, we've, got, uh, uh, we've got Garrett who came forward and he said, look, you guys literally ready to reveal everything. I mean... I'm ready to open this can of worms. You guys have barely scratched the surface. So take it away. The floor is yours. Sure. I mean, oh, like, gee, there, there are so many ways to start, but I guess I'll just start with how I first began. And that would be back in July of 2018, where I've just finished my first year teaching. And I thought, man, this job sucks. Like, yeah. you it's stressful all year teach? round. What do you teach? I teach, uh, at that time I was teaching like three different elective classes and I'm certified in English. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was nothing like I was prepared for. And overall I was just doubting myself. I'm like, am I cut out to be like this? You know, maybe there's another opportunity. And I think I was just at a low point because it's in the middle of summer vacation and I got to get ready to go back into the war zone, you know? So it's almost like a saving private rhyme moment. Like I'm picturing the war and everything. I'm like, Oh, am I really ready for this? So, and then out of the heavens, this guru came, Dan Locke. And he said, Hey, Gary, don't, don't worry about that. I got, I got the solution for you. You can quit your nine to five. I'm going to, to give you the tools to, uh, to make six <laughs> figures. You can quit this race. You're, you're special. And I think that's what hit me. You know, Dan, Dan has a way to make you feel special. Um, I just want to let everybody know, um, I'm not going to be like, um, you know, busting his ass throughout this whole thing there there are some you know there's some things i'll give him props for um but 
yeah, but this was one thing that, you know, he, he knows how to like talk to an audience directly. Of course. Um, yeah, and make you feel special. And the other thing was that he didn't exactly just pop up um, directly to me. He popped up in many of the other channels I was watching. Some of you all may be watching uh, Stephen James Project Life Mastery or Improvement Pill. And this guy like knows how to network with all these you know, gurus and such. And for the longest time, I was just devouring their content for free, you know, their free content. They always kept bringing up, hey, if you want to get rich, you need a high income skill. They were like, my friend Dan Locke here teaches a high income skill. So these people I already hey, trusted. Hey, you want a little secret here? Yeah, let's hear You're, it. Get, get back into that in a second. But the secret is those people get paid every time they sell a high ticket closer course. They're not just That's saying right. that, okay? Right. They're getting a kickback from Dan Locke for that. Go ahead, go ahead. But these yeah. people you trust. No. no, no, definitely. And I'm glad you brought that up because yeah, they're all getting a kickback. In fact, Improvement Pill, I later found out, was a you know mentee of Dan's. So I was just thinking, you know, all these people I trust, they're all recommending him. They're telling me to come look at this free master class, you know, the master classes, you know. <laughs> Love it. So I, I I jump into this master class and there he is bringing up the wealth triangle. Like, okay, you know, you, you, you got everything you need. You just need the high income skill. I mean, coffee break. Look, even, even just minutes before this interview, Dan had a video posted, a, a new video in which he says, Hey, if you want to make millions, you need a high income skill. So I heard that over and over again. I just didn't know, well, what is a high income skill? See, he got me asking these questions and then here he comes down from the heavens. He's like, here's your high income skill. It's HTC. Oh, you, oh the black book. You, you see it? Look at it. <laughs> so holy, oh. uh, but I, I'm sorry. I only have version of the first edition. This is now obsolete. You know, I, if if I would have gone to close, closers in black this year, I would have gone the second edition. Wow, uh, this this is junk now. Yeah, Life changing stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I so I, throughout this master class, he he's bringing up how easy this is. You got a product that somebody's selling for a thousand dollars. You get on the phone. And you just close some by, you get a percentage of it. it. He makes it sound so easy. And then he's like, how, what would it be like if, if I taught you how to do that? I was like, who, who, me? And he's like, yeah, you. Yeah, I could, I could, I could make you into a six-figure earner, but you, know, you got to do the work. I'm like, yes, sir, I'm ready to work. Scout's honor. Like I, I was ready to go. He's like, okay, then click, click this page. So I click the page and you know, the, these gurus, they, they pull this shit where you go to this page and they have a little countdown. Like there's a timer. Going uh, it's off. scarcity. Yeah. Don't do what I did. Okay. I, I jumped on it. I went to the page. I saw the countdown clock. I saw availability go down to seven. I was thinking, oh shit. I've got to jump on this. Like there's only seven opportunities. Let me tell you it, it. And you know, I was, I was prepped. I was groomed for this because other Stephen James project life mastery and improvement pill videos told me, Hey, you gotta be ready to drop like thousands of dollars if you want a high income skill. So I had the credit card out. I was like, yes, I've been mentally ready for this. I'm ready to buy it. And I'm thinking, as soon as I buy this, it's going to be me and like 20 other people. Dan's going to personally mentor us, just like how he said in the video. So I dropped that money on my credit card. Didn't even uh, talk to my wife about it at the time, which was absolutely stupid. Because um, here we are supposed to be working like a team. But again, that's what that fucking countdown clock does to you and availability. It makes you think like, I've got to act now. Oh, my God. So I felt yeah. like I had no time to think. And stupid me, I mean, if I would just realize that this wasn't even a live video, these masks. Oh, it's not a live video. There is no number. You can let the clock run all the way down. Availability goes to zero. You'll click it. They, they let yeah. anybody in. Any, but, anybody. At any time. I, yeah. There's no, no scarcity. There's zero scarcity. No, and just, just think about that, everybody. Think about that. This is your introduction to this fucking class. It is a fake countdown clock and shit. Like, I hate that shit. Fake man. live, fake live. It's all a lie. 
It's all yeah. a lie. Yeah. And then, and then once you drop the money, you get into the Facebook group and I'm like, these are the people I'm going to like get rich with. And we're going to be sitting on yachts. Like we were paying the fancies ourselves before class even started. Yeah. It was, ooh, I need a sip after that. Well, and look, and that's the, and that's the expectation he sets up, man. You're going to be some big high ticket closer like me. Let me say, let me ask you this. So how much did you spend on that course? Okay. The course before the up sale, which we'll get to a little bit, um, was twenty five hundred. You know, I'm a teacher. I I saved up. Uh, at this time, I I had you know thousands in the bank. I was like, yeah, I can save a little money and drop twenty five hundred and not break the bank. Cool. So that's what I did. And does that surprise you? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, but it's not like you have thousands of dollars sitting around. That money mattered to you. Yeah. And there was no, um, what should I say, like a test or no pre-evaluation of whether this program was right for you. It no, was they like, don't qualify you. They just let anybody in. Shit. All right. So you drop the money. Yeah. You go through um, the course. Does it work for you? Um, hell no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, here's what I'll say. The course, God damn. Just like... Many other courses you guys are going to see. I remember you interviewing somebody else who went through um, shit. Maybe it was uh, Jason Capitals or somebody's uh, course. It was like, yeah, man, but, but the mindset, like he taught me all this mindset shit. I'm like, yeah, they all teach that shit. The first two weeks, the first two classes are nothing but the brainwashing, I call it. Yeah. They want you, yeah, they want you to feel like you're already rich and that you have abundant money. Um, and that you love money and get you, get you in a happy place where you're motivated. All right. And then he starts actually teaching. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it true that Dan Locke says you should have a sexual relationship with money? Uh, you know, I didn't hear that. I'll be honest. I, I didn't hear that, but he said, <laughs> said you, sh he said, he said, you shouldn't think of money as like dirty or anything. You should love it. You know, okay. um, Touch it, kiss it, keep it around, keep it in drawers, okay? Yeah, this might be worse. <laughs> he's like, keep it in. Wait, why he said that kiss money? Yeah, kiss it, touch it. No, he's like, he's like, love money, y'all. <laughs> so keep it, keep it all over your house. Just so so it, it didn't dawn on me, like, why is he making us feel like this? You know, but but it, it all comes at the end of the course. Watch okay. it. It all builds okay. up to it. Okay. So after two weeks of mindset. You get three weeks of the martial arts, how to close, all right? You got to know your, 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 your prospects and how to deflate objections and all that stuff like a kung fu master. And let me tell you, that's, this that's, shit, a, that's how he frames it. You have to be a kung fu master of closing. That's right. That's right. You got to flow like water, like Bruce Lee. <laughs> oh, if they throw an objection, huh, do that and come back with a question and you got it. Well, later when I was actually trying to close, that shit did not work. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, so three weeks of that. And by this time, it was tough for me doing my job and handling the homework assignments for HTC because they give you homework assignments. You can't just slack off, right? Right. So I'm, I'm back at school. I'm teaching. And Dan, I mean, just the way the course is structured, it's made to build to make you feel great and make you like you all you should you should not be worried about spending money because you're gonna get it all back. If you're making six figures, you're gonna make that money back. So this is where I made probably the most crucial mistakes of my life. I quit my job. And yeah, I quit my job. And I said, because I know this is going to work. Yeah. And coffee, I wasn't the only one. There were, not only were there people encouraging me to quit, but there were people who had quit in like week one or two. They said, fuck you to their bosses, gave them the middle finger, walked out. Like everybody was under this impression that we were destined for greatness. Yeah. Whoa. That's yeah. dark. It is. It gets worse. Because, um, so again, I mean, I have some thousands of dollars in the bank to, to keep me afloat for about four months. All right. So I'm thinking, cool, I devote four months to closing. 
hell, if I can't close a deal by the end of those four months, it's my fault. That's the other thing is, is you're kind of made to believe like it's always your fault. If, it, if, not, if something's working, it's your fault. So right. it's, the, it's that lower mindset, man. Because Sifu <laughs> knows. So if Sifu, Sifu can't be wrong. If something's wrong, it's your, it's the, it's your fault. For sure. It, it's your lower mindset. You're, you're, yeah. But then comes the last two weeks, which is about how to get a job. And this is the one I'm like, all right, let's hear it. And he's like, all right, so here's what you do. You be nice to them, you give value, and they'll give you a job. What kind of jobs can you get with closing? Well, you can sell cars, boats. The sky's the limit, man. Just go go out and sell shit. I'm like, oh, I, I thought there was like a, a process to this. Okay. Because I, I thought- So he was, just pushes you a kind of, uh, he's like, he's like, you were expecting him to have a pipeline, some kind of formula for getting a job. Right. Because, I mean, I was, made, I was feeling special. Like, I'm a mentee of Dan Locke. Like, uh, there's got to be, like... Aren't the companies that, climbing at Dan Locke's window to hire us? Yeah. No, and he said that in the Masterclass video. He said, there are countless jobs. It's a blue ocean out there. They're all climbing for you. And, he's, and at the end, he's just like, good luck. But... And then the, the last class, he pulls this shit. And coffee, I honestly, if, if he would just pushed us off and said, that's the class, have a nice day, I honestly wouldn't be here. I'd be like, okay, I lost out 2500 bucks, but, you know, it's my bad. I'll live. And from what I learned, you know, if, if you have no sales experience, I guess – like it's an it's an okay introduction. No, it's but, garbage, dude. It's so garbage. It's so garbage. I, Bro, l- l- here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you've never read a sales book, if you've never read Influenced by Robert Cialdini, if you've never and you only your only introduction is Dan Lock. Yes, but if you only knew that everything you learned is available in about three books that are about ten bucks a piece, then tell me how you'd feel about spending twenty five hundred dollars. For sure. But I, I, yeah. I hear what you're saying. You don't yeah, want to live I, a life of regrets. I understand the, the mindset. I understand the mindset. No, yeah. And I, I, I honestly, like I said, honestly, if it was stopped there, I would have said, okay, you got me. Yeah, yeah wash you your know? hands of it. Yeah, but then he brings up like, okay, so I know you guys are worried about getting a job, but I got this inner circle, you know, you can join. You, and I, I will make sure we will work our asses off to make sure you get a job. Uh, now, before you, you leave, let me ask you, am I just your Sifu for seven weeks or am I your Sifu for a lifetime? So our hearts are racing. Like we, we built a connection with this guy. <gasps> oh man, wait, uh, I, of course, of course, Sifu. Yes, I'm devoted, you know, like, <laughs> oh, no. and he's like, oh, you Sifu, know, Yeah, so 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 we we can't we can't disappoint him. We we, we we what what can we do, Sifu? Yes, yes, we'll follow you anywhere. He's like, hey, okay, well, here's what you can do. Here's you could, what you can do for Sifu. Let me show you. Uh, here this we is go. what he wants you to do. He wants you to open up that's, your wallet. That's exactly. And uh, how much do you think it, it costs to to get into that? I, I, mean, I have just, no idea. You just you just spend twenty five hundred to three grand for this course. How much more to get into Inner Circle? Well. It's only a low price of just an additional two thousand dollars more. You asshole! <laughs> Not one fucking sale made. We're all just kids. We're, we're we're throwing off the graduation hats, and he just says, "All right, bitches, you want more lessons? You want? You really want a job? <laughs> Open that fucking wallet. Give me that two thousand dollars. You already gave me a, gave me two uh, three thousand. Give me more, you fucking idiots." So, and, and he's doing this live on class. Like, like anybody who, who jumps in, oh. he's got, he's got uh, Sergeant Desmond, his right hand man, naming off people who have already joined. So there's that, that, that herd feeling like, oh, I'm missing out. Oh no. Uh, wait, Jeffrey, Jeffrey's in the air circle. Oh wait, I like Jeffrey. <gasps> Arnold's in it. Oh, I got to go follow. I got to join now. So, so everybody, like I would say a good 80% or more oh, of no. students joined inner circle that night. Wow. Yeah. And a part of it was, yes, you're guaranteed a job. 
well, we okay, not guaranteed, but we will work your ass off. He pretty much he makes it. the impl- implication you're going to yeah, get a job, you're going to get a job, you're going to get a job. And that's and that's what what gets me is that so much of this shit he can throw it back on you, and be like, oh, I never said that, but it's like, dude, look, you pretty much said everything but that, like you molded us to do this. So uh, we're all jumping in to this giant pool. I'm going down the fucking rabbit hole. And remember my plan. I'm supposed to uh, be living off this money for the next four months. Well, that's now cut down to two months. And then I, I find out it's not just two grand, okay? You have to pay an additional $200 each and every month because what you're getting is totally worth that. You're getting one fucking class each month, a brand new class. Uh, I'm like, really? Okay, but... <laughs> You know, just like my, uh, just like the the other guy you had on, I wanted a fucking job, all right? Right. And yeah. Yeah. And as soon as I get there, they post an opportunity, and we all jump on it. And it was this uh this woman trying to sell like a um a coaching service, or whatnot, and she had us like make an application, take a test resume, cover letter, introduction video, like seven different fucking things. And everybody jumps on this shit. And the very next day, she, Kayvon, is running this. And he posts, he shows us a screenshot of an email from her saying, hey, your students uh, did not, a lot of your students didn't do all seven of the tasks I asked. I'm not personally mad at you, but it makes me wonder what kind of students you're teaching over there. And then he, he posts, guys, why should we keep, why do we work our asses off to give you these opportunities if this is how you you make the brand look like why should we keep giving you jobs i'm like you fuck we just paid two grand to, for this don't act like you know this is a privilege You're, it's a big favor to us yeah so and not only that but my fellow brothers and sisters in htc who we would we're brothers and sisters that's what we call each other, all right? So if you thought it was like a call, it is like a call. And he, he, he so all my brothers and sisters who I've, I've went through class with, guess what they start saying in the comments section? Throw these fuckers out. They're bad apples. Get rid of them. Yeah, save it for us and all that shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, wait, we were family. And suddenly it's now like doggy dog world. And yeah, a few people spoke up and they got like, you know, they got jumped on by all the other members. So that was my first indication that this was a bad idea. But hey, at least I got to go to closures in black because I was in the inner circle, right? That's a big thing. What's so tell everybody what closures in black is. So by the way, in- by the way, for everyone not now realizing now we have three upsells or two upsells so far. For sure. We've got. We've got high ticket closer. Then when high ticket closer doesn't get you a job, they promise you closers in black. No, inner circle. Inner, inner circle. circle. Yeah. Sorry, it's hard to keep up with them. <laughs> right. <laughs> like double the price and they almost promise you a job. And then, uh, and now, then they now, upsell you to closers in black. Yeah. Now, wait, wait. And let's go back because now we have Dan on demand, which is kind of a way to upsell you into HTC. So for me – there was one less step, but now there's an extra step, you guys. Like What's the, Dan the, on Demand? Dan on Demand, that's like a service that he's providing for $50 a month. You have like <laughs> one, one Q&A session with him, you know, a bunch of other people. Like, and, and you know, I'll get, I'll get into this. You know, I hope we have time. So much to talk about. But basically, yeah, he had HTC students like anybody who was interested in HTC from Dan on demand, he would seek out these students to go and like try and close them. Like, right. yeah, like, like, like sharks, you know, they smell blood in the water. Go, go, get them, get them, get them into the program. But hey, it, it's not a pyramid scheme. He stressed that over and over. This is not MLM. Fuck that shit. Well, it's funny because he's got a lot of MLM components because a lot of the students end up trying to close for Dan. In the end. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's funny, most of the successful closers work for Dan. Hmm. Interesting. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. People are gonna say, I already know what the comment is. 
oh, this guy's just salty because he didn't work hard. Of you course. Know that's, you it's know that's fault. a comment, yeah. right? What do you have to say to those people? Um, I mean, damn, I had, I had over 100 hours, you know, trying to close real customers. I tried to make this shit work. Like, I was working with a team, which we'll get into later. This is after Closers in Black. And we worked with probably a dozen different influencers influencers these are the people who are selling high ticket packages like thousands of dollars i tell you none of us was closing shit all right so you can you can you can hate on me you can say i'm salty but i know hundreds of people that this is not working and the only ones it seems to be working for are those that now work for dan who are now right? selling dan lock more of dan lock's products exactly and they're the ones cycle yep Hey, so, is Dan Locke a cult? Yes or no? Is High Ticket Closer a cult? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I, God, dude. I'm going I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna to say, yeah. And you know, shame on me. I, I had fights with my family members. They were telling me, dude, this sounds like some cult shit. And I'm like, really? No, no. You see, that's your lower mindset saying that, you know? And he's like, you call these people you don't know, brothers and sisters. Yeah, because we're, we're trying to be, you know, we're, 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 we're not living in the matrix like you. We're out of the matrix. We're, we're in the real world. We, we know each other. We understand each other. And yeah, dude, it's a, it's a cult, but I don't even think Dan knows it's a cult. I think he's He's drinking so much of his own Kool-Aid that he thinks that he is really making a difference in the world. But he's building this empire on the bodies of, you know, innocent people who are throwing away their money. So And their jobs. And their jobs, like myself included. Um, just to skip ahead, I, I am a teacher again, and uh, it's actually great. So yeah, there, there is a bit of a happy. Good, to this. good. I'm happy but, to hear that. I'm really yeah. happy to hear that. All right, but um, I want to get into uh, Closers in Black because sure. this, was, this was, I think, where all, my whole reality shattered. So one of the privileges with being part of the inner circle is you get to attend Closers in Black. What is Closers in Black? What did I know of it at that time? I don't fucking know. He just said, be there because there's going to be learning. There's going to be surprises. There's going to be... Uh, a, a lot of breakthroughs so i'm like oh man this is some like tony robbins shit awesome yeah. but the best part was i like i built the connection with a lot of these people in the program and i was like i get to meet them hang out with them and we get to feel like millionaires we're dressed in tuxedos and shit so i'm like yeah let's let's do this so it, it's totally free you just have to pay to get there. Oh, and Sifu demands that you stay at the hotel where this is happening. All right? At this point, I'm like, oh, Sifu knows everything. If I do not stay at this hotel, I am fucked. Like, I'm dead. So I end up spending, I would say, close to over a grand to, to get there. The flight, the hotel room. Yeah. Wow. So um, my plan of surviving for four months has now diminished to a month and a half. But again, it's no worries. I'm going to make this money really quick. I'm going to get a closing job and money's just going to roll right in. Well, I fly out to Closers in Black, Vancouver, awesome city. Love it. Go inside. And Closers in Black, it was great. Got to see a lot of my uh, fellow cohort and stuff. But some of the warning signs I was getting, though, was I was meeting a lot of season one students. And here's the thing I noticed. Um, about a couple months after a season ends, a lot of the students kind of stop posting on Facebook. They kind of vanish. They, <clears throat> um, you know, they'll have HTC on their banner. They'll be dressed in suits. And they, they were regularly posting. But then a couple months after the program ended, it stops. So I'm like, hey, dude, how, how's everything going? And they would just be like, ah, you know, I'm struggling. I'm not, I'm not closing and all. So I'm like, oh, shit. And so I'm like, so why aren't you posting? He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed. And this, this, the story kept repeating. They oh, were ashamed. No. 
They, you know, because they, while in the program, they're proudly announcing, I'm HTC, I'm a motherfucking high ticket closer. But then when you're out in the real world and you're not closing, you're like, oh, wow, I've let Sifu down. I've let myself down. I'm a failure. You know, you just kind of, you kind of back away from social media. And it's funny because this would later happen to me as well. Um, but so I was already getting red flags. And then the first day was nothing but mostly have Dan having Desmond and Kayvon give speeches. And the theme of the speeches were sort of, hey, trust Dan. Trust him. He's He's got – he – it. In fact, uh, so like Desmond's like, you know, I trusted Dan and my whole life changed. Kayvon gets up. I trusted Dan and my whole life changed. Which is they, funny because later Dan goes against Kayvon, right? Yep. Uh, we're close to the one year anniversary of that. Yeah, we're close to one year anniversary of that fucking shit, man. That was some good drama. That was, that was one of the funniest days of my life. I'll be honest. But we'll get to that in a sec. Ah, good shit. Okay, so Kayvon at one point asked everybody to stand up. He said, I want you to imagine that you're standing on the edge of the cliff. Sifu appears over your shoulder and he says, I want you to jump. How many of you would jump? And I kid you not, we all looked at each other and we were like, fuck that shit. <laughs> there were, of course, there was a few dumbasses who were like, me, 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 I would jump. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I cannot make this you're, shit up. You're, you're not making this up, I can tell, because this, this is too real. They asked you, they asked you, let me get this straight. If Sifu was standing over your shoulders, creepily over your shoulders, yes. like, Massage you, yeah. would you, would you just, oh. Yeah, and I mean, some were like, yes, I would. I trust Sifu. And, and later that, I mean, yeah, but, but, but here's the thing. Now, listen, everybody pay attention because, again, a majority of the room was mm-hmm. looking at each other like, oh, that, like, no. So we, we, weren't, we weren't fully convinced yet, all right? Mm-hmm. And even later that night, we were, me and, like, a bunch of other people were sitting around, like, in the lobby of the hotel. And we, one of the guys, okay, I'm not going to name names, but one of the guys who was a devoted, like, Dan Locke fan was just shit talking him. All right. And believe it or not, this guy is working for Dan right now. So I'm sitting with this guy, devoted fan, and he's just shit talking him and saying like, oh man, he's like uh, the, 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 the influencers I'm working with because he's actually, he actually found an influencer. Um, and he was actually making some money. It was selling like uh, one of these Amazon, you know, FTC classes or whatever. Right, FTA, whatever it is. Yeah, FBA. He was, yeah, yeah, FBA. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I get that shit confused. But he was telling me that the people he was working for, they were even like, oh, man, Dan Locke, yeah, the whole HTC thing. Like, we were actually close to not hiring you because of that. So everybody pay the fuck attention. Even the people who are selling high-ticket packages, they're all getting together, and they know that the value of HTC students are not that great. So... <laughs> Spencer, who came on the show, he said, I tried, he, he had a course, he tried HTC closers and yep. trash. No, yeah, yeah. And I mean, you cannot expect seven classes to completely make someone into a sales expert, but that's what Dan, you know, preaches. And unfortunately, even at this time, the brand was damaged. This guy told me so. He said, this brand is damaged. I'm probably, he, he literally told me I'm probably going to leave HGC inner circle right after this. Hmm. And a lot of people I was sitting with agreed. All right. So the same group I'm with tonight, we show up the next day and we all were talking about, we're like, we're ready for this upsell. He's like, everything yesterday was prepping us for an upsell. I was like, fuck. So he starts off with a little story about the guy who starred Alibaba and he was like how he started that with 16 people and he wants to now start a big movement. And he's like, the number I'm looking for is 300. I'm looking for 300 Spartans to work with me, to fight with me, to make this brand what it is. 
And I was like, oh shit, here he comes. And he's like, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the third pillar, the inner circle of the inner circle, high ticket millionaire. And everybody's like, <laughs> and he said, imagine, okay, he loves that word, imagine. You. Imagine you got a job. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. That's what we all fucking want. But he's like, no, fuck that shit. Here's what you do. Yeah. You lead a team of 10 closers. They close for you. They get half their profit and you get half that profit. Ba bing, ba boom. You're going to be, if everybody's making 100,000, you're also making 100,000. So you're essentially making a million dollars. And I'm going to take 300 of you and make you into millionaires within the next three years. So now everybody's like perking up and I'm just like still slumped. Like what the fuck? I just graduated. Wait, I'm qualified to lead a team. Like, no, this has got to be for like season one people, right? No, it's, it's open for everybody. Even, even the season, season six people who graduated a week before this were in that room and they were given this opportunity. So they were upsailed three times within the span of like two months. So and how much was High Ticket Millionaire? We'll get there. Um, first, we got, got to talk about the bonuses, Coffee. I mean, that's, that's the point, the bonuses. You get to fly, you get to attend these meetings in the most extravagant places like Hawaii. I'm trying to think where was the second one he did. Um, but you, I mean, you got to pay for your own flight there in your own hotel room, but you get to come <laughs> and, you know, come, come for a, a class exclusively to how run a business. And then you also get more access to Dan. You can call him up for like an hour. Um, you get to, you know, get, uh, get your own class once a month. Okay. And then he stopped and he said, I'm looking around the room and I could see some, some real eager people who are ready to make that first move advantage. So before I even reveal the price, if you don't even want to hear the fucking price, go to the back table and sign up now. And holy shit. You remember that scene from the Lion King with the stampede coming down? Simba's like, that was me because I was sitting near the back of the room and I see this whole fucking stampede of hundreds of people running towards the back table. They're, they're waving their credit cards. Like they don't even know what the fuck they're buying. They're slamming the table. And I'm like, get almost about to get run over. I see people who don't have a pot to piss in running to that table. People I know that are in debt, people that I know who are starving, who haven't found jobs, and they're running to that table. And I'm like, what the fuck is this madness? And I sit down at my table. I'm like, can you believe this shit? And the two guys next to me, one of which was the guy who was, you know, saying how this was complete shit. He's like, this is cool. I'm going to join. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, guys, we talked about this last night. Like, he, he's, th this is a joke. And, and then I turned to the guy to my right. And I'm like, what do you think about this, dude? And he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. I'm like, dude, it's like we just graduated martial arts school. We're, we're blue belts. We haven't closed a single fucking package. But he, he wants us, he's given us a chance to buy a black belt and call ourselves a black belt. I'm like, this, this isn't right. Like, I'm, I haven't sold a single package. I shouldn't be leading a team. How can you coach people to sell, sell right? Yeah. yeah. Especially some of these season six people who just graduated, just joined Inner Circle, and now you can be a high ticket millionaire. Well, he, me and him are both on the same page for a good five minutes, but then Dan says, so the cost of the program is five grand a month. But, but just for you guys in this room, okay, 50%, 50% off. So only 2,500 a month. <laughs> Bro, this is clown world, man. He is, I've got so many bad things to say about Dan Locke. I don't even know. I, I don't know. But, but coffee, nobody told you about this? Like, am I, I, I have never heard of this. This is insane. Really? 
Wow. Bro, okay. How much money have people lost with this guy? Well, let me put it this way. One of these guys I knew that was struggling, he handed his credit card over to Dan Locks Lackeys, and he said, I'm praying that this goes through. And it didn't. It got declined. And he just melted on the floor. He was crying. And then another guy was like, I got declined too. He's like, man, if I could sell my soul right now, I would. I'm looking at I'm like, you're joking. He's like, I would. There, this is turning into like a fucking nightmare. He wasn't that, that other guy wasn't the only one. There were people crying. They're they so in them. debt that they can't buy any more of Dan Locke's stuff. But, but they feel like they're letting Sifu down and, and they're, they're just, they're like, no, I, I need this. I need this. They really believe that joining this program was going to make them millionaires. And I, I remember, like, this was some Hollywood movie shit. I'm standing there, and I'm looking at Dan directly, like, right at him. Of course, he doesn't notice me. I mean, he's looking, he's smiling, look at all these crowds. Right, 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 right. And my hands are just clenched, and I'm, I'm so angry at this guy. I'm like, this is not right. This isn't right. You should not be accepting some of these people's mind right now. They are struggling, starving out of jobs and you're promising them to be millionaires and you're charging them 2,500 a month, like puke, man. And then I sit down and I'm like, man, this is fucked up. And then the guy next to me, to my right, is like, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm like, what the fuck? Coffee, by the end of that, that fucking day there, I would guarantee Dan had more than 300 people. Dan had, he had to have sold this shit to at least 600 people. And I wondered, I wondered like, how did he pay for all this? The car, he had a sports car in the room. He had lights, he had food. And then it hit me. I was like, we paid for this shit just now. He said this, everything costs 500000 Where did he get that 500000 He made it in that very moment. And those, these vacations he's talking about giving classes at, who's paying for his room and his vacation? It, he found a consistent source of income of thousands of dollars every month. And all he did, all he had to do was sell more access to himself. And that's when it hit me, like, this, this is fucked up. So, <clears throat> so uh, thankfully, um, those two, you know, because I left this place expecting a job. Like, I was going to network with somebody and get a job. And... Thankfully, the two guys I was sitting with at the table, you know, and mad respect to them, they gave me, they saw, they saw, they saw something in me and they, uh, they let me on their team, you know, their team. And from there on, that's when they started trying to close influencers and I started trying to close for them and there was just no success. Eventually, one of them, the guy who was shit talking, Dan, eventually, got promoted and Dan picked him up and now he's working for Dan right now. And you know, good cheers, man. Good for you. You look like you're happy. So that's cool. But you know, my other friend, he's still, he's still working at it. The other guy's still working at, is I have guy. Met- is the other guy in, they're both in high ticket millionaire, right? Yeah. And they're so not, they both they're pay not. Dan Locke $2,500 a month. Yeah. But from, from what I can apply like they don't seem worried because I guess Dan taught them how they can work that into their taxes to get back. Bro, you never like, get that back. I yeah, but that's what they're believing, and that's what's like scaring me. I'm like, okay, and even if that is true, like your credit's gonna be garbage. Um, oh, they're never, dude. I can't imagine people. I would love. Oh man, I bet but, some people have lost over ten grand just on Dan. Easy. Oh, for sure. For sure. Easy. I mean, coffee. Think about this. Um, ah, shit. What was I even going to say? Uh, I was just going to say, um, yeah, I mean, even 
everybody really thought they were going to be millionaires, man. Dan brought them out onto a lot, uh, a yacht that night. And the whole yacht was fucking packed. Like, I, I asked them, how was the dinner? And he's like, no one could barely move around the yacht. That's how many people joined this fucking program. And I have not met a single fucking person, part of that, who is anywhere close to becoming a millionaire right now. It's a reverse Robin Hood. Yeah. You take from the poor, give to and, the rich. That's right. And coffee, I, I remember what I was going to say. If Let's pretend, yeah, like they – they are now in a hole of debt. Creditors aren't going to take them. Now they're in desperate need. There's no one else to turn to but Dan. Right, right. And yeah. I'm like, God damn. Like that was, that was, say what you want about Dan. That was a, that was a calculated, like he had to have calculated this. And it, it, you could say it was smart. But at the same time, like, you don't realize the mad damage you did. You took a bunch of unskilled people like myself, and you just, you, you just suckered us. And I, I remember talking with one guy. I'm like, oh, so you joined High Ticket Millionaire. Um, how do you feel about that? Have you closed? And he said, no. And I said, well, you know, why do you feel like you're qualified to lead a team then? And he said, well, Sifu always says, trust the process. So he wouldn't have given us this opportunity if he didn't believe in us. I was like, okay, um, what's your name? And I looked at his name. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to check up on you a year from now. Let's see how, where you are. When did you discover Coffee Zilla? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Dude, it, I discovered you like about a couple weeks ago. And okay. Yeah, and I guess... Um, it must have popped up while I was watching one of Dan Locke's videos. Um, and I, I remember watching some of the things you exposed, like that call he did, the, you no, know, what Desmond's call where he comes in, he's like, Hey, I got to go. You, you know, I remember watching that and think it was real, but then you broke it down and like told me how fake it is. And I thought, oh, yeah. man, I really wish there was a channel like this that could have, saved me from making this huge mistake let's let's calculate let's calculate what it meant to your net worth to find dan lock okay so you spent two grand right uh yep. well you spent 2500 hold on let's start let's do that yep. 2500 we'll, we'll pull up uh oh, sorry. all right so you spent 2500 yeah then you spent two thousand dollars on the upsell yep okay how many months were you in it because obviously it's 200 dollars a month oh shit six months uh, and then you spent a thousand dollars on the trip, and then you quit your job. So you were out of your paycheck for how many months? From the time you quit to when you got six, a job, six months. Okay, six months. And so, if just ballpark, how much money that would be? So, at that time, it was about twenty-two hundred a month. All right, now I'm going to add all this up because I want you guys at home to really. Feel, feel, feel this, the sting. Man. Ooh, yeah, feel. yeah, because it ended well. But dude, this is like, it's not a cheap thing. Nineteen thousand dollars, nine hundred dollars, so twenty thousand dollars. Damn. Okay. Wow. You're good at math, man. No, I just did it on a calculator. But, twenty thousand dollars would be for my... for joining Dan Lock's course. Yep. Everybody at home. If you guys don't think these guys are predatory, think about that. $20,000. It's a $20,000 mistake. I, I, and I'm not ragging on you. I'm not ragging on you. I'm literally no, saying it because it. people at home need to know this, man. It is not like people think, oh, it's, it's only a course. It's only $2,000. First of all, a lot of people that have, don't have $2,000 to sit in the bank. This guy, he had his life together, so he was able to do it. But Twenty thousand. Think about what you could do with twenty thousand yeah. dollars right now. Right now, sure. if I could add twenty thousand dollars to your pocket, I could be putting a down payment on a house right now and be moving along with my with my life. You know, getting ready to have kids. That that shit has now taken a back seat because I have to first get out of debt because I don't want to start having kids while I'm in you're, debt. You're so. in debt from this. You're in debt from yeah, this. Still am. Because let me tell you, when, when you go back to teaching 
you're not making a full salary if you jump back in the middle of the year. So I only just started making a full salary. Oh, back in- wait, how long were you making like a, a, a pro rated salary? Like, you know, like half rate. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, since uh, March. So that's so, another six months of half, like of a half salary. Yeah. Of a half salary. Just enough, okay. just enough to pay the bills, not, not pay any extra on the credit okay, card. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me add that in then. That's like $26,000. It was a $26,000 mistake. 26. Ouch. And I'm sorry to say, I, I, I mean, that no, gives no, me no. zero pleasure. This is why I do the show. That's right. $26,000. Are you listening, everyone at home? Are you listening? $26,000. Thank you, Dan Locke. Thanks, Dan. Hi, Dan. I know you're watching this. Hi, Dan. Say hi. <laughs> hey, Dan. Say hi, Garrett. Hey, Sifu. <laughs> Sifu for life. Dude, that is brutal. That's brutal. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. Uh, it's, it's horrible. But you don't know when you're getting in. You think it's only $2,500. That's, that's right. You, you do not All expect the, the upsales. You don't expect the... Um, what it'll do to you. What your, fa- yeah. your family then gets involved. It causes strain in your family. It's terrible. Yeah. I mean, that mindset shit, you know, that all these gurus teach... They do that in the first couple of weeks, not to not to make you a better person, but to to get you on board with the program and you know suck you in, guys. Like, don't honestly, like you said, there are books out there. There are many resources, and when you see these master classes, you're thinking that these guys are going to be holding your hand with you one every step of the way mentoring you one-on-one like you're something special you're just a herd of sheep they're just guiding you so you know say what you want you you a lot of people can be like dude you know well that's your fault for quitting your job but hey i'm one of hundreds hundreds if not thousands of people in that program who did the same thing everyone i knew quit their jobs the only difference is you have the courage to speak out about it exactly and i i I guess part of me was ashamed, just like everybody else. We, a lot of people are ashamed. That's why a lot of people don't come forward. Oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. There are people watching right now who aren't going to come right. forward. And I, look, I'm not going to force you to come, come out and say something, but it's, it's because it's, it's terrible. It's shameful. It's right. like, how did I get myself scammed? And it's because it's an orchestrated uh, thing. He, he uses your psychology against you. I mean. Exactly. And hey, that shit like, hey, once you go against the family, you're never allowed back in, and yeah, that shit plays on your mind. But yeah, you know it's excommunicado. Yeah, well, you know what it took? It took me um, losing my older brother back in March. Uh, he passed away, and yeah, it that that was the moment that took me like I just lost a real brother, a, a real person who would stand by me and be there to help me, and. Although I I have these people on the internet and they're cool and all, but I have a real family and I was happy with them. And I feel like a lot of, a lot of people, they feel unfulfilled because they didn't have what I had, like a real family to stay around. And you know, that saying, you, you don't realize what you have until it's gone, but man, losing my brother put a lot in perspective. We only have one life, you know, and you can't fuck this shit up. And what I did wounded me financially. It wounded, um, it wounded my marriage a bit. It wounded my relationship with my family. It goes beyond so much the money. Um, it's a miracle what I've been able to do these past couple of months to put my life back together again. Congratulations. And I'm Thank so you. sorry to hear about your brother. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it was unexpected, but it really opened my eyes. and. I feel like now I'm, you know, now I'm happy. It's like here I was worrying about getting rich and all, but a lot of us around, we, we don't need to be rich to be happy. All right. And it's those thoughts that we're like the special one. We're the star of our own movie. We're destined for greatness. Those are the thoughts that they want you to feel and they will prey on you for feeling that way. So go out there, do great things. Um, you know, don't be a shitty person 
And if you can produce a service or a product or an idea that makes you millions, hey, congratulations. But don't fucking use these psychological tactics like these people, these fake gurus, because they're not in it to improve your life one bit. They're there to destroy your life and to make themselves look at you. At the end of the day, closers in black. Dan Locke has pictures standing on stage with hundreds of people standing up and applauding him. That's all we were. We were a photo op for him. Our bank accounts shrinking, our families ripped apart, our, our relationships damaged. Also, he can look like a god among men. And that's Dan Locke. That's tough, man. That's tough to hear. Guys, we're going to wrap it there. This has gotten heavy. This has gotten real heavy. But I think, but I think honestly, look, we make fun of the gurus. It's fun to have a laugh. You know, it's, it's, it is fun because it's because they're so ridiculous. But at the end of the day, you need to realize these things have consequences. And I wish these gurus knew they had consequences. I, I, I've gotten in contact with a lot of gurus and I always ask them the same question. How do you, I don't word it this like way, but I basically say, how do you live with yourself? How do you sleep at night? And all of them have some varying answer of, oh, well, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's people who can't afford it joining my course, blah, 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 blah. Look at who is in your course. Look who's leaving your course. They never look back. They're always on selling the next guy. They never look what their course is doing. And it's messing up people's lives, guys. That's it. We're in another.